Hey guys, welcome to the very first official episode of the new channel's name or the channel's new name of Reading Brainbow. I, I'm calling it Reading Brainbow, mainly because I have been an advocate for reading uh, for a very long time. I love reading. I grew up with uh, LeVar Burton and Reading Rainbow, and this is kind of like a homage to what that was back in the 80s. And we very much need that um, this type of uh, these types of shows on today's television. So the new name is called Reading Rainbow, and I'm your host, Randall Fields. And today, we're going to be reading Explore My World, Snow Leopards. So sit down, relax if you're on your bed. Just listen, and perhaps I can read you to sleep. For those people who are learning English, and you're using reading to learn English, this is a perfect, perfect channel for you. So please like and subscribe. So let's begin. So today I'm going to be reading um, National Geographic's uh, Snow Leopards Explore My World. Okay. This is a great book. I've read it. I have uh, many of the National Geographic Explore My World books. And this is written by Jill Esbaum. Learn about snow leopards, their habitats, how they've adapted for a cold climate, and how they care for and teach their cubs. So you can see it has the almost exact same um, photo. Okay, here we go. Explore My World, Snow Leopards, by Jill S. Baum. A snow leopard. She wanders rocky ridges where sprouts push from unlikely cracks. She crosses sun-dappled ravines, laps at trickles of melting snow and explores dewy meadows buzzing with life. I guess that's a snow leopard. What's she looking for? A den. She finds a hidden place protected from icy winds and swirling snow. Here, she'll give birth to two or three cubs. Ah, oh, they look very cute. Difference between almost like a, a white tiger almost. Nuzzle. Moms stay close so the cubs know they're safe. Newborns are born with their eyes closed too weak to move around much, but a week or so later, good morning world. Special Cats Most big cats have yellow or gold eyes. A snow leopard's eyes are gray or pale green. What color are your eyes? The Bengal tiger. The leopard from Africa and Asia. Most big cats roar. Snow leopards cannot. Instead, they growl, hiss, mew, moan, purr, 
and yow. They also make a puffing sound called a chuff. The African lion, Africa. Are you quiet or loud? Do you have whiskers? Can you hiss like a snow leopard? Mountain lion, North and South America. Pounce. After two months in the den, cubs are ready to play. They'll roll and tumble and bat at each other. After two months in the den, cubs are ready to play. They roll and tumble and bat at each other. By late summer, the cubs are following their mom everywhere learning every nook and cranny of their rocky neighborhood. Snow leopards like to be up high where they can see a long way. Ah, a rocky outcropping is a great place to perch in the sun. But if mom sees a plump marmot, she's more than happy to chase it through tall grasses. Along a stream, down a snowy slope, her growing cubs need to eat. What's for lunch? Do you eat meat? Could you catch a bird? Snow leopards are meat eaters. They will feast on a wild sheep or goat for a week. While hunting, is a snow leopard quiet or noisy? Do you like green food? A Himalayan blue sheep, India. Have you ever walked through snow? Also on the menu are smaller animals like marmots, pikas, hares, and birds. Snow leopards eat grass and twigs too. Pika, China. Golden marmot. India. Cold autumn nights turn mountain grasses dry and brittle. Wild sheep and goats move down the mountain for the winter. Asiatic ebex. Or Asiatic ibex. I'm not sure of that word. Central Asia. Snow leopards follow. Next year, the cubs will be will begin hunting. For now, as they watch mom sneak after her prey, they are learning. Blustery days, freezing nights, mountain winters are harsh. Snow leopards must seek shelter from icy winds and howling blizzards. Frosty nights, extra thick fur. Keep snow leopards warm. Long tails curl around to cover tender noses. Nighty night. What warms you on a cold night? Are the tops of your ears round or pointy? 
small rounded ears help hold in body heat. Furry paws keep toes toasty. Is your nose warm or cool? Growl. Vultures and ravens trying to steal a snow leopard's food soon find out that these cuddly looking cats can be fierce fighters. Especially if a mom thinks her cubs are in danger, then watch out. Cubs stay with their mom for nearly two years. She won't have more cubs until these are grown and gone. When the young snow leopards are finally grown, they leave. Each must find a new neighborhood or territory to call its own. Leap, snow leopard. Live strong and free in your new hunting grounds. Where snow leopards live. Snow leopards live in the mountains on the continent of Asia. So here's Asia, and this should be about the the middle of China, I would say. This is the middle of China, and then up here is Mongolia. So you have Mongolia, middle of uh, China, central China, Mongolia, and I would say Russia. So these animals are found in Russia, Mongolia. And uh, these parts near central China. Name the parts of a snow leopard. So you have paws, a tail, eyes, nose, ears. And tummy, can you find all the parts of a snow leopard? And the last word, well, here it has a for Evelyn. So whoever wrote this, she dedicated it to someone or something. Hmm. They they have a, a quiz. I would like to take the quiz. Created by Mrs. Cross. Can you ace this quiz? I don't know. Maybe. Hmm. Where does a snow leopard need a... Why, what does a snow leopard need a den for? Dens are... Safe places to have cubs. Snow leopards find food in the dens. I would say dens are safe places to have cubs. Why do snow leopards like to be high? To look after their cubs? To look for f food? To see a cool view? I would say to look for food. Correct. What do snow leopards eat? 
mountain lions and other snow leopards, garbage cans and rocks, birds, hares, twigs and grass. Wow, they eat twigs and grass? So they must be omnivores. What habitat do snow leopards live in? What habitat do snow leopards live in? Oceans, grasslands, mountains, deserts? I don't know, I think it's uh, mountains? Yes, very good. How does a snow leopard stay warm? They have thick fur. They have blubber. They huddle together. They sit in the sun. Hmm. I would think that they have thick fur. Although huddling together could be the one too. Oh, but I got it correct. What did you get? Well, I hope that you like this new episode of Reading Brainbow. And please like and subscribe. And if you can, make a comment. And if I see the comment, I will most likely respond. So bye for now. I have to find a, maybe an outro, like what, what will I say, <laughs> right? <laughs> so, uh, so long guys, so long.